What about, so of course, summer hogs, we usually get a higher price. And as you mentioned, uh, numbers are down. What are we looking at for third and fourth quarter this year? Well, I still, so I'm, I'm still optimistic. So uh, uh, a lot of us travel up to the Wisconsin Dells in the middle of July for the NPIC meeting, and that seems to kind of be the top of the market. And I think we're going to see a repeat of that. That's going to be kind of our uh, uh, the third week of July or so would be our thinnest harvest week. Probably uh, hangs in there uh, through the month of August. Uh, a replay back to $120 plus is not out of the question uh, by any means whatsoever. And even coming into the fall, uh, we probably start participating in some protection uh, at $95 and above in the October and kind of holding ourselves together. Keep in mind, you know, $95 hogs in October, traditionally, you'd say, oh, you know, that's unheard of. Well, that's, uh, we're going to be encroaching on cost of production uh, very, very soon. I've not taken a look at Lee, Lee Schultz's model here recently, but we've got to be uh, 90 cents plus uh, on a carcass weight uh, uh, for the average producer, uh, if not maybe even for the good producer. So I think that uh, and a, a dollar is not what it used to be. Dollar hogs, we've only traded June hogs. Guys, we've only taken June hogs off at over a dollar twice before what's going to happen today. So we've got to kind of keep these things in perspective. We, we, are, we are in positive markets. Our input costs are mitigating some of our profits. Uh, but but I, w I want to keep everything in perspective.